Yeah, yeah, we are back and there's been a bit of a change. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if there's something on my face that's changed. My nose. Don't know. Don't know. Oh, wait. <laughs> Fucking bald head <laughs> bitches. Uh, yeah, so the hair's gone. As you can see. Do I suit it? Do I not? Operation uh, Grow the Beard, though, is in now. So <laughs> that's happening. So get a nice big old bushy beard. But it will be under control. Not bushy. Just big, thick, longer. Uh, yes, but there we go. So today's video. First one <laughs> since going through like the shoot prep. My head's been everywhere with like creating content. Not wanting to do it almost. Um, not really having the ideas. But I'm back. I'm feeling good. The gaining phase is completely underway <laughs> body weight is well up which i'll go into but yeah we're going to use this video as a full update talk about the shoot the diet the post diet where i'm at what the goals are and we'll go from there so let's get into it and i hope you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe if you're not and like the video if you don't mind that'll help but yeah let's get into it ali to the treat here she is there she is. Hello. Hello, little girl. Okay, sit. Good girl. You want to do some tricks? Okay, sit pretty. Good girl. Pa. Thank you. This one. This one. Thank you. Good girl. Okay, one more time for everyone. Sit pretty. Strong girl. Okay, good girl. Should we get you a treat? What's this? What's this? Okay, wait, wait, gentle. That weren't gentle, you little shit. That's one clever, that's one clever little girl. Robin spent so much time when we got her just training her and training her and training her. And we took her to puppy classes, we did all sorts of stuff. And you would not believe the amount of, not just tricks, but like understanding the dog has. They're fucking smart. We don't give them enough appreciation for how smart they actually are, how much they actually understand what you're saying. So she's here again, she wants fucking more. You're not having any more. There's no chance, let's have one later. Oh, tattoo's standing out. Nice! Right, I'm about to make some food. When I was on prep, you guys saw me eat like chicken burger and chips. Look at me doing this now. I'm like, I'm a, I'm a bald guy now who just strokes his head. <laughs> fucking hell, you cut. Caught myself doing it. Um, you saw me eating like chicken burgers and chips all the time. I'm not eating that. Since I've been on prep, I've been eating different foods, <laughs> having some variety like you expect. But funnily enough, today I've gone, you know what? I want fucking burger and chips again. I really do. I've not got any buns in, so it's just going to be the burger and the chips. But I've just got another air fryer. Got a dual one, so. I was supposed to get one of these whilst on prep to make life easier, but we didn't. But Amazon Day, Prime Day sale, got this bad boy for like 90 quid and it is awesome. So fuck, fuck ninja, pieces of shit. Yeah, prep this food, eat it, fill my belly up. Because man was gaining weight, 110 plus kilos. Here we fucking come. Okay guys, the bits that you're gonna wanna see, that was the update, but now let's get in. Do some fucking training. So, montage incoming right about now. She a baddie with some nice eyes. She can stare it through your soul with that eyesight. She don't pick a side by everyone's time. And she don't even know you're yeah, pretty little girl She be poisoned like a snake bite And she really come alive in the late night Once she put the venom in them, yeah, she tastes right And she don't even know you're yeah, pretty little girl She can drop it low with this, la da 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 She look like a pro with this, la da 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 I know how to move it slow with this, la da 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 I just wanna flow with this, la da 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 She know how to drive them crazy, she do it daily she Amazing, a little nerdy, little brainy. She like we're playing. She got me drooling, got me craving. She misbehaving. Little freak in the night, yeah she do it right. No she don't show it in the light, keep her secret sight. Yeah out of mind, out of sight, and she just my type. Tattoo. 
good living life like we don't live it twice And she damn near perfect when she working Like a dancer she could work it but only for him Got those eyes that are flirting, always searching And her thoughts are perverted, yeah disturbing huh. She can educate The loyal type, yeah, she dedicate She got a body, you should celebrate Tattoos, yeah, she decorate A mighty fine piece of real estate And we're back Did you enjoy that? PBs are flying Can't deny the PBs I'm, I'm like excited to hit All time personal bests That is what matters to me Is getting strong as fuck My passion my background is strength, powerlifting, spent years powerlifting. Now, just because I don't squat, bench and deadlift now, I do press, <laughs> not bench press, but I press. Uh, I'm still really fucking heavy. And I still squat in some fashion, hack squats, leg presses, all that shit. And deadlifting, I'm not actually currently deadlifting. I've not deadlifted in a very long time. <laughs> I got that old man back, nah. I'm just not deadlifting currently. There's no like serious hinge movement, which I'm sure will change in the future. But yeah, this is what, like, people say, what is better technique, adding weight, adding reps? Bro, all of it, great technique, whilst adding more reps, whilst getting strong as fuck, do that, and you will grow. If you do not do that, your body's staying the same, okay? Now, I'm not calling anyone out, but that's just the, the truth. You see people lifting the same shit. Week after week after week, year after year, and tell me the amount of people you personally see in the gym whose body changes, okay? If you've been the member of a gym long term, I guarantee the majority of them people look identical as they did the year year before, and the year before that, okay? <clears throat> so be meticulous with your training. Fucking be a savage if you have to. <laughs> in, in a calm way, in an aggressive way, it doesn't matter. Do what you gotta do to lift more fucking weight, get strong as shit with great technique so you stay injury free and you can push long term okay do that and that's that's just the formula need on top of good nutrition but yeah so i hope you enjoyed that workout more to come more to come support diet weight moved up pretty damn quick i mean pretty damn quick pro time after the shoot so pretty much me and robin went and bought fucking shit tons of food from the shop Bought whatever he wanted, uh, loads of shit, uh, Mackey's, <sighs> biscuits, ice cream, 
It all went in. But the problem is, is that hunger was so fucking high after the shoot, which is really normal. And the control that I had on, over my hunger and appetite was zero. Absolutely inexistent. So, I quite a bit of weight on pretty damn quick. Back pump started, calf pain started, could barely fucking walk. Couldn't get out on a walk. Absolute shit show. However, we are under control now and we have been for a good while and appetite is under control. But you've got to be careful coming out of that diet, guys. You've got to be careful because it is not an easy process at all to get out, out of, especially if there's no one holding you accountable. I knew I had to stay accountable to Christian. Even though I was fucking it up, I knew I had to tell him that I was fucking up and therefore get back on track. So, ah, tough, tough fucking process, tough process. So then body weight went up to Christ almighty. I think I hit like a high of 227 pounds or something like that. And then had to get my shit together. Had to wait till my body weight settled. Because it was fucking painful being so damn heavy. It really was. I'm not going to sit here and say, yeah, I felt great putting on 20 odd pounds in the matter of like a week and a bit or two weeks or whatever it were. <laughs> body weight did settle. And as it stands, I think my body weight currently is like, 226 or it might even be 227 now and we're what three and a half weeks four weeks post shoot so within a month we've put on 25 pounds in a month but shares a lot i think as you can see i handled it quite well right now still in relatively good nick um just feel strong as fuck, feel big as fuck, really filled out. Yeah, plenty of fat has gone on, but it is what it is, and I feel human again. That is the main thing, is <laughs> feeling human, feeling healthy, feeling happy, all right? And yeah, I'm, right, I think stand guard, I'm not a bodybuilder. I've never been on stage. So for me to have that sort of like long-term goal of hitting this like perfect off-season to get on stage is a little, it's a little funny. <laughs> I'm a regular guy as well, and I like my, I like my food. Like everyone does, but still, yeah. So, yeah, as it stands, 226, feeling phenomenal in the gym. And the goal, end of the day, is to be 250 by Houston. So we've got 11 and a half weeks to put on 23 pounds. Very doable, still in good nick. So I've got my abs going as well. So we're in, we're in a relatively good spot. So, gaining phase is under, underway, and we're going to get big as fuck. Okay, I prefer natural lighting, but, you know, because... Lighting like this is always a little funky, but a little bit of physique check at 227. So we still got our V in. So I'll just show you my fucking pubes, but it is what it is. So this is the condition we're in. I have to put in 25, 26 pounds on since the shoot. Relatively good nick. Not the end of the world. You know, I've still got some lines going on. So I've got the lats in. Put it here, still striations through the chest. My obliques are still in. You know, there is this fluff going on here. But main thing is I feel, feel good. I feel healthy. I feel really fucking healthy. And that is what matters. My body did not like that fucking diet. And that's the first time I can ever say that. I've been through plenty of them, plenty of diets. I've done two photo shoots um, in the past. This is my third shoot. <laughs> my body's never uh, responded as negatively as it did to this one. Fucking horrible, horrible. But we're good, guys. We're good. We're not in bad nick. We've got, what, 23 pounds to bottom, like I said. See what we can do. So as the shoot was getting closer and closer, I think it was like within a few weeks out, or 10 days, I, mate, my body was just retaining water and shit and inflammation for fun. So much so that I fucking developed really bad edema in my legs. And if you've not seen the edema, you should see the position my legs went from to where uh, they were, holy shit. Like, Christian had to put me through a pretty good water cup protocol in order to flush the legs out, so I actually had some some uh, shape for the shoot, but Christ on my, I went from having shredded, shredded quads, fucking striations everywhere to having swelled up mess. I just look fat. But yeah, absolutely fucked me. Absolutely fucked me. But <sighs> will I go for it again? But yeah, probably. <laughs> we'll see, but we're spending a year of putting size on, a whole fucking year. That don't mean just a consistent bulk. There will be like mini diet phases in there as well to sort of like, you know, clean things up, resensitize, get appetite back, um, drop a little bit of body fat and push again. But 
as it stands right now, we've got 12 weeks to, till Houston, and I'm gonna try and get big as fuck. <laughs> that is, that's for damn sure. <laughs> So that is the first video back, post diet, post shoot, little bit of an update, but I'm excited to take you on this next journey, way more excited to be honest. My passion for training is high. I'm just, I'm absolutely buzzing to be in the gym every day and I hate rest days at the moment. So the gaining phase is underway. This is the journey to Houston, operation 250, 250 pounds. Let's go. I'll see you next video. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't, I'll catch you in the next one.